California that just does this bike. Wendy, this is this is a guy named Vic World that um, basically in in the late '80s when they realized ooh these same casts were special. Mm -hmm. The first 1400 750s made were special. No, I have. He he ran around the world literally and started buying parts, bikes, all NOS stuff. So now. There he is, praying to the Honda gods. We're at black and gray Honda motorcycle collection. Japan, baby! He's gonna dump all his BMWs and buy a Honda today. It's kind of secretive here, isn't it? No. <laughs> We, on the what? Yeah, it's like a third driveway, yeah. But uh, there's a business before. Bike I raced in the 90s. And, uh, Your personal race bike? Yeah. Yeah, I see it's all safety wired up. It started as a uh, uh, six, you know, regular old six feet four, and uh, uh, went through years and years of development. I mean, this is crazy. There's outboard bearings. Oh, here yeah, I didn't see the little tags on the floor. Outboard bearings on it. I mean, swim arms modified. We designed and built it under the tail there. The subframes, the radiators. It's crazy. Ran total loss, you know. You made the rear sets even on it. Yeah, just uh, and then uh, and then that 650 Suzuki came out, and then like right out of the box, it was. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love that? Than that? And I'm like, that's it, you know. Back is in red. Oh no, it didn't go. I wonder if that's where they don't. Wow, well, that's different. Can you tell? I don't know. It's got a, a big thing in the center there. I don't know what that is. A timing chain? No, it's got like like a dome. Look at it. In the back end, it's got a big dome oh, yeah. in there. Oh, I, don't I don't know, know what that is. I don't know. And he had something very funny to say. He says, oh, and here's my Hondas. Just like your house, right? <laughs> look at these Hondas yeah I'm hip so we're at black and gray Honda getting a personal tour of all this man's race bikes Wow now the goodies are in that box this is the to, one that they only made so many and turn it into an animal oh. I don't know where it is. now that's nice paint oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where the hell there is? you go what bike did you ride up to the Perkins DNR. Right, uh, you this one? No, I have another one home like that. Oh, that was my original one that I bought in 93. Oh. And then when I restored that, put it away, I, I found a, another one down in Texas. Now, don't touch anything. Don't, don't touch anything, yeah. You're making me nervous now. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Isn't the parts in there for a street version? That's, my garage That's the suitcase with the, sec the extra engine. <laughs> Oh, oh who's here? There's ooh! 110 horsepower in that box. Yes. What do you mean 110 horsepower? <laughs> oh, you mean you could soup it up to be 100? Yeah, yeah. This is the way it comes in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Pete, this is the bike you should have. Try to make a swap for your Kawasaki. <laughs> do, you want, do you like? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, I don't even know where to start, but there's like a hundred bikes here. And we're going to try to get all of them on a video, little by little, without too much BS in between. But uh, there's some very cool stuff here. Doesn't Honda make any? Yeah, that engine doesn't make shims. That has the Sempra has the lock nuts. I drive one. I drive the lifters, right? On on the car. Yeah, this one. So there's a couple of unique ones here. Obviously, this is one of them. You know, this yeah, is, absolutely. This is one of uh, three that came to the country. That's, uh, that's about it. That one up there on the pedestal, you know that one, right? Up on the pedestal. I got to go over there yet. Yeah. That's the, you know, the one. That's the NR. That's the one with the oval pistons. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I know of it. I don't. I've, yeah. 
To be honest, I've never seen one in person, but I've heard of them. You should have a picture of the oval piston somewhere. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> that, that image is this bike. What did you say? But if you've never been here, this is worth the trip. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's not going to sell anything. No, no I, have, I, I thought I had a lot. And I thought his friend had a lot. Uh, the guy that's sick. He has, how many does he have? 20? 35. 35 uh, bikes. It's not, he couldn't even fill the first room. Good man. He keeps them all going. Yeah. Uh, well, some are in parts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he showed up without a plate the other day. Yeah. He forgot to put the plate on the bike. He's got too many Ducatis. The plate fits all the Ducatis. Is it a dealer plate? No, it's a... It's unbelievable. That's the one with the old piston. Yeah, well, I'm going to take a close look at that. Isn't that something? Wow. Look at this one signed by Wendy Ertnowski. Wow, this must be a collector bike. That's your look, name. Look, it says Wendy Ertnowski signed this bike. <laughs> that was actually Nikki Hayden. Was it? Oh, my God. I like the blackbird. Yeah. So here he's got the uh, the movie of playing in the background. The NR. This is the oval piston Honda. What is this? Now, if you if you can believe the stuff that's here is unbelievable. Look at the carbon fiber work on this. Wow. Nice. Marky. Nice walk here. How old are you now? What? You 70? 72. Wow. Still ride 150 miles a day, except when I come to look at the Hondas. I'm losing a riding day here, actually. Wow, this is some collection. There's three channels. One's an aviation thing. No. Alright, Turbo Steve is gonna die. <laughs> There's two Turbo Steve. He got two of them. <laughs> turbo Turbo Steve, you've been out turboed. <laughs> Holy Christ. Two turbos. Oh my god. Wow. You don't even know where to look here. It's so much stuff. Luciano, you're going to be so sorry you missed coming up here today. I have a feeling well, Luciano's going to have to see this stuff in person. He's a big Honda guy. I bother him all the time. You know, he's, he's got to work with He's got to wait. It's a once a year deal. Just the fact that he's laying in bed now is probably, I feel like calling him. Call him up, Jose. Wow. I'm going to call him up. That's good. That's good. He has cameras all over his bike. So uh, so. I like wow. these in here better. This is oh, like, he's going to love you. Oh my God. How, how come this is a weird white? Is that because never Those are, uh, These are race bikes. This is how you come, uh, that's how they come from Honda. That's oh, yeah, you paint your own yeah, stuff? Yeah, they, they, they just come white. Oh, you do your own? Like that one up there? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think he's going to have to ride his NS up here and just take a picture with this collection in the background. Oh. That NS is a cool little bike. Whoa. It, it, Mark has one, too. They got two of them. Wow, this is some collection. This one, I, this one I spent, believe it or not, a year and a half on. It's this funny little bike that never made for the U.S. It was a, and Honda Italia wound up 
Honda Italia wound up uh, Aero intake system. Making a making all of them for the whole world, but just having wow. an Italian model. So yeah, there's yeah. nothing available. I wound up molding, you know, molding uh, panel fasteners and reproducing the panel fasteners. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. You know, glue them onto the broken pieces and then, yep. uh, this is every damn label, manufacturing label I had to recreate in Italian, by the way. Oh, Oh, and the whole thing's in it. Oh, ooh, I'm yeah, sorry, I knocked, yeah, so I knocked that. Right. Can you say? But um, yeah, this thing, this thing was. Uh, now this is only sold in Italy. This was only no, oh, just Ford. Europe. But Honda Italia made made them all for the world. Oh, okay. This happened to be an Italian oh, model. Friend. Oh wow. And uh, every yeah, little, every know. little, all yeah. these. How can you uh, lose this? You know, Marzocchi label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. every damn thing, aside from the mechanical part. And you know, I did the best I could. You know, all the I recreate all the vinyl and everything. This is like Kawasaki air intake. They copied it. Yeah. Ram air, but that's not really ram air. It just ends there, right? That doesn't go all the way back. Air up under there. Yeah. Now that bike never came with a fairing. That's no, the no, way it actually, looks. that's the same bike. This is the same bike. It was just. Oh, oh just it just doesn't have the fairing on. The fairing, the front fairing on. I like the color. Yeah, 91. 91, right? We're back here. And back here. Oh, now we go to the big door. <laughs> These are cool. Oh my god. There you go. These are the old guys. miles on this one. Oh, this is the zero mile one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One. oh one mile. Oh, trade it in and get another one yeah. <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, a bunch of these I, I already did. And, uh, I remember this bike like I have, I have this bike. I'm trying to get each one on video because uh, whichever one I miss, somebody's gonna ask me, you know, the the, <laughs> the people that are looking at the video. Did you did he have this? Did he have they're all, they're all on the website actually, our black and gray website. I'll have to get the address on this and get this is the one that was Okay, so Andre said he has all the bikes on the black and gray website if you want to see them not on a windy video. Yeah, oh yeah. Ray will like this. Oh my god. Yeah, I do. Believe it or not, I'm old enough to know that. So check out the black and gray website for an individual picture of every bike. Wow. Yeah, he holds precision. One of them. One of them. Uh, yeah, he would stick it on the back of the fender. Yeah. Now I was there the last day there was Amel Precision. We moved to Dino. You did? Yeah. Wow. Art Conklin, uh, Freddie Anderson. I don't know if you know any of these names. Uh, we had seven of us. We moved to Dino and it went to Kenny in California. That's that was the last thing we ever time we ever saw Kenny. Uh, so. And my dad and Uda and uh, What's the what was the father's name? Otto. Here. He sold my father the last BMW my father ever owned. So wow. we had a little a little note. We knew who he was and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I hated to see that building go, boy. When we went in the back to move some of the stuff, there were still seven or eight bikes, and there were calendars with Ducati written, Ducati Labor, fifteen dollars an hour. Now, I mean, co yeah, collector yeah. item. Crazy. Oh, that's that is labor. We uh, it's at the house. It's not here. Just a couple months ago, I got a. 69 CB450. Four miles on that thing. <laughs> CB450. Yeah. And, uh, when, and uh, it came, you know, a little mile bike, and it came with the original uh, sail slip. Oh. Little pink sail slip, two holes in the top. <laughs> and one CB, you know, uh, 450 price, tax price, and I think registration to you. What do you think the bottom line was on? Guess. Eight hundred. Good guess. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight seventy-five. Yeah. You know, and I brought it. I was sitting in the shop, and I, I grabbed the people. You know, I said, "Come." But in. you want to keep that, don't you? Yeah, I said. Yeah, I said. I said, "Come in here. Look at this thing." I said, "Forget that it's a motorcycle. Just look at this object and realize that in 1969, this was sold retail for eight hundred seventy-five dollars, which means that Honda had to produce it for what three hundred bucks. Yeah. And Something make, like that. Yeah. Make money. Yeah. Which is insane when you look. You look at stuff, an right? engine, tires, wheels, oh. tanks, gauges, electric, I mean...
California that just does this bike. Wendy, this is this is a guy named Vic World that um, basically in in the late '80s when they realized ooh these same casts were special. Mm -hmm. The first 1400 750s made were special. Oh, he he ran around the world literally and started buying parts, bikes, all NOS stuff. So now really to pride it fully here, I gotta tell you. Yeah. Right? One yeah. mile on it. Even Luciano doesn't have and a bike with one mile on it. One mile. They're yes. restored. Yes. This is not the way it came from the factory. No, no, no. The, you could tell by the finish on a frame is yeah. much nicer than a factory finish. The chrome, like another Crazy. example. Another example, Honda Chrome is never that shiny. You look at that's that's like Harley Chrome. You know, it's beautiful. It's way better than stock. Man, it's got me drooling to have a 750 in my collection. And I know I know you're gonna to want to make a donation. <laughs> in front of me. Yeah, the gauges. Oh yeah. This brings back memory of the oh, 360 yeah. I had. Oh the yeah. The 650. All of them, because I lived right through this whole era. That was my life. These were the, the days of my life. Uh, you just there's so much to see here. If you haven't been up to Andre's place, you got to see this. Now Charlie will love everything here. I know Charlie has a real appreciation of this stuff too. Joe's friend Clancy. He came, this is even he nice. Came, he came with us. He came with yeah. you. Oh, okay. Uh, so he's already oh, no. seen it. Wait a minute, not the older guy. The older guy, Charlie with the... Uh... the this looks like it's... Uh, this is another real, let's see what it is. A 2010 Honda Murawaki MD 250H. The race bike doesn't look like it's even been assembled. Well, oh, it looks brand new. Ray would know what this is. Ray knows all about these. No engine oil or transmission oil. No coolant. Don't, don't ride without putting cool in the bike. Yeah. Now, what happened to you? <laughs> we don't even want to hear your version of the story. What happened to you? This was, is nine. Right? We saw you going the down the bridge behind us, and then that's it. 16 was so, so slow, I said, well, 1602. Nine Pretty amazing, days. huh, Wendy? It's amazing. It's Pete, I'm glad you set this up. I, and a special thanks to Pete for setting this up. Because we had made plans to come here several times, but we just, my babysitting routine didn't allow me to do it, so. I asked the I pulled it to a Whoa. Now, these bikes are worth anything? It's a big house. So that box has the. If you got to ask Pete, you can't afford it. That box. Has the so oomph to make the, race the only guy that can the, this is a street the only park. guy that can appreciate this is guys that really are connoisseurs. This is a street version, and then yeah. you take that and make it into a yeah, and you make it into a race bike. But there's a real supposedly a real MotoGP bike so got the legal, real. This is legal street, though. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. They don't make that anymore. They only made a limited amount. Even the forks, they said the forks are some the highest tech and uh, everything for Honda baby. Well, look at the quality of the fits and everything on it, how beautiful it is. You notice, hey Pete, I got an answer for you. You notice one thing about no flat black on the wheels. Have you ever noticed the real high-end bikes have shiny black wheels? Look at the quality of the wheels. Hey, uh, Jose, not, not, you know how I hate flat black? No flat black. There's no flat black yeah, on the whole no, bike. Like flat black See that? Either. No flat black. Yeah. Everything is nice and shiny and yeah. polished. Wow. These are. I don't know if Joe Roselli was ever up here, but Joe, if you haven't no, been, no, 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 no. whoa, you're missing it. We got to come up here again. What a show. And what do you say? There's only three of these in the country, and he's got. I think so, yeah. yeah, it's a very rare. I've never seen one other than this one. Uh, quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, quarter of a million. The only guy can afford it is Luciano. He's got that printing press make, and now he's got to make hundreds instead of twenties. But that oval piston bike, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's this really is the bike cool. Basically, that Marcus drives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, obviously his is special, you know. Oh. Yeah. Look at that, though. Look. The special stuff is here. I'm not going to touch it. Well, the other one doesn't but look at where the mirrors are mounted on those. Sh that, I never thought of that. That you could mount them to those, the thing that protects you in MotoGP from somebody putting on your brake in the corner. Oh, look at this. 
the tooling uh, marks on it. The race bike has a lever to protect the to, to protect this in case it falls. Yes. Maybe they can continue. No, the reason these levers run is when you're riding right next to a guy, you don't want him to hit your brake lever. Oh, okay. They don't care about the clutch, but I probably put two. But it's the brake. When you're leaned over, if the guy next to you touches your front brake, yeah. that could ruin your whole day. Look at this. Unbelievable, huh? The wheel. Bob would love this bike. He can oh my God, Bob! Had, Bob had to work today. Bob, we're sorry you couldn't join us for this trip, but uh. Bob, the guy with the metal. Two fifty. Four or inline four? Uh, inline. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is the thing in the back. Yeah. Wow. Everything is stuck in there. Just parked out front. Wait about. Wait about. Which one? The first 91, one? 91. Yeah. Wow. And how long did you, before you put it up here, and that was it? Oh, I wrote it. This is like probably 30,000 miles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is fabulous. People just don't do this anymore. Yeah. Slats. Okay. And he had them like this for years. Yeah. No sun. Yeah. Okay. I never thought he had one of these 70. Wow. They're going all the way back to the beginning of slats. Wow. Okay. Pre he had a big property where he had a man's property. And he all passed his way. He kind of passed away now. Upside down. And he has. Blackbird? Yeah. 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 This is the bike Luciano wants the oval piston Honda. Ooh, oh man. Look at the finish on it. And here's another thing you can tell when yeah. the, the carbon fiber uh, is coming. I, you, I don't know if you can see it. It's coming right through the paint. Uh, that is really cool stuff. You get a header on this. Oh my god. You can get in and see the engine through here. Now how cool to have your bike on display and right behind it you have the uh, all the racing MotoGP stuff going 24-7. That's a sponsor, Camel Cigarettes. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah, Smoking Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Marlboro used to sponsor them, Camel. He died, the bicycle crash, right? The bicycle crash, yeah, he got killed. What, what luck is that? Is there anything either? <laughs> these, these are still in the crate. Yeah, this, this is, is the Nicky real Davis crate jacket? that, no. that this, came from Honda. Juan Duhamel, is that this guy? guy? Still in the crate. Is this Ivan Duhamel? No, Miguel. Miguel Duhamel? Yeah. Oh yeah, Miguel Duhamel's jacket. Look. So the story is Andre had this assembled in Japan by the Honda guys. And then and, and shipped. One of, and one of his guys. And one of his guys. And then shipped here. And then shipped here. Yeah. Oh. And the extra the extra parts are in that suitcase over there. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> we won't tell him. Someplace. Tell him. Yeah, you're sitting on it. Those are like two it took them five years wow. of building the four, the four cylinder, the four stroke, to win a GP race against the 500s. Even with the speed. Um, I don't want to keep him too long. He has to do hand in one of the GP races with a Suzuki. Yeah. 50 that they made into a scooter. 
right? No. Didn't they use that engine for a scooter? That, they, that's the, the uh, Pacific Coast. It's ST1100. Old plastic. No, no, it's old plastic, plastic white. But it's yeah, only white. white. No, they had other colors. They had other colors. Not in the Pacific. But they used a V, a V, a v yeah. like this. My next door neighbor has one. He can't sell it. I know. I have two of these. This one? Yeah. This, this is, is nice. Sensor. This is an old one, right? The original. One I put 50,000 miles. This is. Or is that my eyes? Oh, this is a turbo. Oh, no. This no, is a turbo. no. He could take this entire collection and he's getting old with that. But they charge $8 admission to the whole thing. He family. would get res res residuals from it? You bet. And he could take them and they, they guard them and everything else. Yeah, but he wants it. Well, he's not going to sell But there, his whole collection could be one pavilion out there. And I'm surprised Honda don't talk to him about it. Honda has all these. Finally found one that suits, oh, shut up. <laughs> that suits Jose. <laughs> these are the ones he's gonna get. Look. Well, no, oh, these are the ones. No, that... I, don't, I don't know about that. Oh. Anyway. Here's the money shot. Oh, <laughs> Jose hugging and kissing his first Honda. <laughs> Sir, how how long have you been out of the insane asylum? Half an hour. Did they let you out or did you escape? Oh, look at this beauty. Look at oh my god. Get a get a kind of pledge and start pledging it down. This guy can beat the Glenn in his Ducati. Easily. Yeah. Easily. All we do is hide the key. That oh key you need to start god. the bike. Look at this. That is cute. My grandson would love that. Are you kidding me? What I'm amazed is it's just Hondas. But I guess you can only have so many, you know. We counted. What do you mean that that's a hot? It's okay if it's just Hondas. What's wrong with that? How many did we count? 98 bikes? I don't know. 98. There's 100 here. You count. <laughs> so who would trust you to count the money at a Six, poker seven, game? Eight, nine, ten, nine, ten. Okay, we're going. Let's get out of here. Look at, oh, pizza. Look at the size of these letters. <laughs> that was called something. That is. <laughs> he he needs more that. Honda stuff here. Yeah. yeah, we don't have enough. So as we're leaving black and gray, we just want to... Uh, I want to go up and thank Andre for hosting us and showing us one of the most amazing collections I've ever seen. It was a great place, a great day. So we're heading out. We're thanking Andre once again for a great, great day. And Jose, thank you, and most of all, Pete, who set this up. What are you riding now? I'm sure this is not the last time we'll be up here. All right.